America, the Federation of the Atlantic American Societies of North America. I would like to congratulate Dr. George Dekatz, our current president of the Atlantic Medical Society of New York, who has done a great job in uh, putting this, apart from other uh, major events together. And of course, Evangelia uh, Zavaris, our uh, secretary and administrator, uh, who you all know uh, very well. So uh, this evening, we'll be talking again about Dr. George Fabricolan. We'll be presenting uh, data that are different from other years. But I'd like to take you through a tour of uh, previous uh, medical symposium with, uh, regarding Dr. George Fabricolan. And uh, you see here, we have the Hippocratic Legacy at Wild Medical College, and the president of the Panagoico Society of America, Ms. Sula Podara here, and uh, we have uh, Mr. Tony Rigos, who will be delivering uh, the talk of the Panagoico <laughs> Society. Uh, Dr. Rana Hora, uh, Chief, Chief of the Panagoico Psychology Laboratory, and Director of the Psychopathology Fellowship Training Program, welcome, we will be hearing from her too, on migration <coughs> policy in Europe, European Union. And Maria Nasuziki, who you'll see a letter from, she's the director of cytopathology from the Southern Niki, and I see she's related. It's happened again uh, through Dr. Uh, Chervenek here. Uh, in 2012, we had uh, an, uh, as honoree Dr. Caputo, the professor of clinical uh, medicine, obstetrics and gynecology here and vice chairman of the department. And Dr. Anna Hora, who will be speaking to us tonight too. Professor, uh, this is a question we all and thank you. And you know what? The way you delivered, I uh, gave me the impression, an, ex an explanation of why many physicians turn to politics. <laughs> Outstanding articulation, voice, performance, beautiful. In addition to your medical things. Uh, I'm very glad to be tonight here. Uh, first of all, because the, the professor who is honored comes from the Saloniki, the city from which I come. And so we have a, and in fact, he is in the hospital, which one of my nieces is a physician, works with him. So I have a very personal relationship, which I didn't know until tonight. I'm so happy for that. Uh, I would like to congratulate the young people who are uh, the recipients of the awards. And I'm thankful also, Doctor, for your a list of uh, what happened in the past with people and recipients and the achievements and specifics of uh, Dr. Robert Nicolau offering to uh, the science profession. In New Testament, we have a number of terms related to medical practices. In a negative way, in what sense? About the case of a woman who spent a physician. Our respect for the physicians, doctor, doesn't come for what, from what they are doing today to us. There is a history, and there is a recognition, and if you have a biblical recognition, and if you have as an identity of Jesus the healer, the physician, you don't need your appreciation and love for the medical profession. Most of all, thank you to the students for being themselves, and we encourage you to even tell other students about what is going on here tonight. Our job for the society is to continue to inspire the young minds to eventually replace us, and if it wasn't for you, uh, well, you are our future. But the best way I can honor this wonderful symposium is to keep my remarks very short. This is truly a thing of beauty. Spiros, you've done something wonderful. You and your whole administrative team of Angelista, this whole group, it's something beautiful. When I see the young people come together to honor Dr. Pata Nicola, bring together something beautiful. I, as chair of OBGYN, am so proud to be a part of this because Papa Nicolau made a timeless contribution. Before his contribution, cervical cancer was the major killer of women. 
Uh, at this point, I will call Mr. Tony Rigos. He is a member of our society, Panepoico Society of America, uh, to talk to us about uh, Dr. Papa Nicolaou. And uh, he is from Kimi, birthplace of uh, Dr. Papa Nicolaou. And uh, also, Dr. Papa Nicolaou in the 30s was a member of our society, in the uh, Panepoico Society of America. Okay, Mr. Rigos. Also, Dr. Mazzilis, Your Eminence, members of the. He's not passed away. Dr. Papa Nicolau has been with me since 1962, 1961, when I first heard, heard him giving his, his speech here at this holy temple of the Emilio Hospital, 1961. And I heard His Eminence referring to the apostle uh, being a doctor. And I, the word apostle struck a new concept in my mind as far as science is concerned. She is receiving. She is receiving the award. Giving some inspiration. When he told me where apostolos comes from, it means mission. Everything apostolos does in life his mission he does with excellence. Let's start with what's most important, his family. We're so happy that his lovely wife, Reed, is here tonight. His lovely daughter, Niki, is with him. So please, let's welcome his family. Before my uh, scientific lecture, I want to just uh, thank all of you, your Eminence, President of the Hellenic Medical Society of North America and New York, uh, Chairman, Professors, colleagues, ladies and gentlemen. It's my honor and privilege to receive the Grand Dr. Papa Nicolaou's Award 2016. Dr. Papa Nicolaou was a Greek physician from a very small island that came at Cornell University and invented an easily performed low cost screening test for early detection of cancer. Even now, after 73 years, Pap-smear, in combination with the HPV test, remains an effective, widely used method for early detection of pre-cancer and survival cancer. I'm also proud that this award is coming from the Hellenic Medical Society of New York, from Greek physicians that are shining in the USA. Greece is proud of them, either they are first, second, or second generation, considering them her senior. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.